Hello, here we are. Another week is gone. Summer is coming out. Temperatures are rising. The Fed, the Federal Open Market Committee, had another meeting. And guess what? They didn't increase interest rates. So that's actually a good thing. Even though one thing that surprised me a little bit is that they announced that they would potentially increase interest rates two more times this year. So the whole rate increasing stuff isn't over. But what was also interesting last week or in the last seven to ten days is that we also got numbers for... PCI and CPI, which is basically consumer price index, meaning like how much have consumer prices increased. And that came in in the average across all the different things at about 4.1 or so percent. But when we're looking, which is more interesting for us as real estate investors, how did it come in for real estate? It was still in the 5 to 6 percent and on average in that category, about 5.3 percent. So still way above the 2 percent that the Fed says it wants or needs to get to. So it makes kind of sense in that context for them to say we probably have to increase rates one or two more times to get more impact in the market. The producer price index is basically what do companies that make stuff actually see in their pricing and how will that translate potentially to the consumer. The issue that I see in that is that if we really look at it, we had in 2022 some phases where we basically had up to 9% inflation or price increases or like I like to call it basically loss of value of the dollar and now on top of that we are somewhere between four and five percent so if you just look at the last little more than a year prices have overall increased 15 percent and the really really big thing interesting for us as real estate investors is what does this actually mean in the context of our properties and the tenants And the tenants, in my opinion, most of the people that I've asked have not been able to get 15% more wages. So they will be struggling more and more. And we really need to be more and more vigilant to keep an eye on how do we qualify our tenants for our properties to make sure that these tenants, even if the times get rough, will have enough money, maybe, you know, both uh, if they are family, both adults working or something like that, so that we are not falling into a situation that somebody comes into one of our properties, looks good on paper initially, and then one little thing changes and they can't afford it anymore. So that becomes a more important thing. On the other hand, the benefit is as interest rates remain high, we don't have to compete with that many people who actually want to buy investment properties as their residencies, which allows us more supply At the flip side, obviously, is it's harder and harder to find deals that actually meet our 1% rule. And so you really have to be diligent in every aspect. But bottom line has not changed, even with this last meeting and with this time not increasing interest rates, that we are still in the asset class that is performing the best of all the asset classes that I see out there. So thank you. Be well, stay safe, and I'll talk to you next week.